This video describes a new procedure added to Stack Graphics 19 for fitting zero inflated count distributions. A zero inflated count distribution is useful for modeling a sample of n observations obtained for a single integer variable x which is greater or equal to zero. The model used is a negative binomial or Poisson distribution with additional structural zeros. As an example, I've loaded into the Stack Graphics data sheet a file containing fish counts from the Gulf of Maine. Every year beginning in 1963, they counted the number of fish at various locations in the Gulf. I'm particularly interested in trying to model the counts from the Bay of Fundy. To get an initial look at the data, I'll go to Plot on the top menu and select Histogram. The column with the counts is Bay of Fundy, and I'll tell the program that these counts are discrete rather than continuous. Taking the standard tables and graphs, you'll see a histogram of the counts. Let me take a second and rescale the x-axis so that each bar has a label. You can now see that the counts in the data file from the Bay of Fundy range from 0 to 7. There appears to be a relatively smooth distribution describing the counts with the exception of 0. There are many, many, many more zeros than you would expect given the rest of the distribution. This is the kind of data for which you need a zero inflated count distribution. The model I'm going to fit to the fish counts is a zero inflated Poisson distribution. You can see it here. What it basically is, is a Poisson distribution with an extra probability for obtaining zero. You see here the ordinary Poisson distribution, lambda to the x e to the minus lambda over x factorial, multiplied by one minus alpha for all of the terms, but with an extra value alpha for the probability of getting a zero. There are two parameters in this distribution. There's lambda, that's the conditional mean. That's the mean of that underlying Poisson distribution. Alpha is the probability of getting an extra zero. The additional probability of getting a zero over and beyond that underlying Poisson distribution. I'm now going to ask Stack Graphics to fit that model to the data. To do so, I'll go to the top menu to describe distribution fitting, fitting uncensored data. The column I want is the Bay of Fundy. And when the Analysis Options dialog box comes up, I'll tell it, instead of a normal distribution, to fit a zero inflated Poisson distribution. On the list of tables and graphs, I'll ask for an analysis summary, goodness of fit tests, and a frequency histogram. The density trace I'll turn off. The program has now gone and fit a zero inflated Poisson distribution for me. And again, as before, I will think I'll take a second and change the scaling so the graph looks a little nicer. You can see that the Poisson distribution, the underlying Poisson distribution, provides a pretty good model for the number of times that counts of 1 to 8 were observed. There's an additional probability, however, for observing a 0, because there are many more zeros than one would expect from that underlying distribution. You can see the estimated parameters back here. The conditional mean, that's the mean of the underlying Poisson distribution, is very close to 3. There's an additional probability for obtaining a 0, however, of slightly more than 0 0.5. 
Now we can test whether or not this is an adequate distribution by going down here to the goodness of fit tests pane. The first thing I'll need to do is go to pane options and tell it though to use a chi-square test instead of a kolmogorov smirnoff test. The KS test doesn't work very well on discrete data. You'll now see the result of a chi-square test. A chi-square test basically a, compares the observed frequencies for each value, in this case 0 through greater or equal to 5, with the expected frequencies. What I'm particularly interested in here is the p-value. It's about 0 0.8. Anything greater than 0 0.05 indicates a reasonable fit at the 5% significance level. So I'm quite happy with the distribution that's been fit.